Currently, the subject of the general election debates is, is topical, partly because uh, we're obviously a year out from the next general election, and partly because it seems to be generating an awful lot of uh, political comment and debate at present, much of which seems to us to be a bit misinformed and to miss the point. Uh, it is a subject uh, which is complicated, not for any particular reason, but simply because the having of the debates in this country has happened rather by happenstance and the process has evolved over really 20 or more years. There's no direct statutory basis for them and there is considerable room for manoeuvre. Equally, it seemed from the evidence we received that the debates last time were popular. More than, for example, 50% of the 18 to 25 year olds found it helped them become more interested in the general election and over three quarters said they talked about it to their friends and it was particularly among the younger part of society that uh, extra interest was generated. It seems to follow from this and from a recent ITV poll that the public as a whole is expecting the debates to happen again and it then follows from that that despite all the uh, discussion, debate, manoeuvring, uh, I dare I say even humbug, uh, it is likely that they will happen and it's important that the discussion surrounding them is actually well informed. One of the interesting characteristics of these debates, unlike for example party political broadcasts, is that government really has no role in their evolution or in the present system, specifically in respect to them. And this is because the debates have, in this country, uh, been propelled by the broadcaster's view that they make good television and at the same time they will help inform the public. So that it's no good us making recommendations to government when we recognise that at present the government plays practically no role in their happening. And secondly, the system that has evolved seems, on balance, to be working quite well. And so it provides, it seems to us, a suitable basis for proceeding into the future. There are a number of uh, points which seem to us to arise from last time's experience, but we're extremely conscious that uh, these are matters for the broadcasters, who are responsible to their, uh, their regulators. And if you believe in freedom of the press, it's not for us, the politicians, to lecture the broadcasters on how things should be done. However, we did have some views about the way in which uh, the broadcasters collectively might increase public access to not only the debates themselves, but the wider circumstances surrounding them and help promote, in the widest sense, general election in this country. And we had a number of minor comments, let's put it that way, about one or two of the aspects of the way in which the debates were conducted. Well, the short answer to that is nobody can be absolutely sure. We shall see how events uh, roll out. But as uh, we've commented, it seems to us that the public is reasonably clear it would like to see the debates take place. Uh, however, it, this is a matter, as I've said earlier, for the political parties involved, the broadcasters. There's some big questions currently being aired about who should actually take part. And I'm sure there will be a lot of contri political controversy about that, uh, which is likely, I think, in any event, probably to end in the courts, which will underscore any conclusions that may be reached by those responsible. What we do think, though, and I'd like to emphasise this, that on balance, the approach that the, adopt, the broadcasters adopt, and have to adopt because the legal framework within which broadcasting is set, towards making decisions about who may participate and so on, are essentially sensible, sound and reasonable.